With the global population expected to reach 9.7 billion by 2050, ensuring food and nutrition security for a growing population has been a major priority for decades. To meet the food demands of our growing population, agriculture production must be raised by as much as 70%, requiring continued yield increases to offset land use and productivity losses to climate change. A key determinant of agricultural productivity is water. 52% of the world, or around 5 billion people, is predicted to experience water stress by 2050. Yuri and CGIAR women researchers have been at the forefront of developing varieties that use water more efficiently, as well as varieties that can withstand drought, saltwater intrusion, and submergence. We are also studying the physiology of plants at different life stages to better understand how they take up and use water. We have deployed innovative technologies such as alternate wetting and drying, a simple and inexpensive way of reducing water consumption and rice production by 30%, thus enabling farmers to cut down on production costs without yield penalty. Women researchers are also an active part of Water Rights, a project aimed at developing information and communication technology and Internet of Things-based tools for improving decision-making on water and weed management, recommend best practices for rain-fed environments, and introduce mechanization for land leveling and planting to improve water use efficiency. International Water Management Institute is leading the work on water, collaborating with over 20 member countries on water research. Women researchers at the Institute have led the work on natural resource governance, water management innovations, and climate adaptation and mitigation strategies, among others. Another center, World Fish, works on building the resilience of vulnerable communities to climate change and maximizing positive nutrition outcomes through its work on sustainable fisheries and rice fish farming systems. Last year, Shakuntala Haraksing Tilstead of World Fish won the World Food Prize for her work on rice fish farming in Bangladesh and Cambodia, which includes integrated aquaculture systems that improve household food security and incomes. As ERI and CGIAR move towards better outcomes for women and men from the world's agri-food systems, women researchers and scientists tackling challenges and threats to water security and availability are critical to ensuring food and nutrition security and prosperity in the coming years.